In this lecture, we shall consider Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Before going to discuss the uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, let us discuss about the commutator of two operators. Let us consider that A and B are two operators. Then the commutator is defined by this. If the commutator is zero, then a b equal to b a, and we say that the two commutators A and B that the operators not commutators operators A and B commute each other can write a b commutator of a and b is a b minus b a which can be written as b minus sign take common Also, this one holds some example of commutators say a equal to x and b equal to px px is the x component of the linear momentum oper operator Now, according to the postulate 2,
according to postulate to this x hat means operator is nothing but uh, you will have to multiply by x and uh, px operator is minus i square del by del x So this is, is x px commutator psi uh, which gives us commutator of x and px is nothing but i is cut. Similarly, it can be shown that What do we see if we take the commutator of x and the corresponding component of the linear momentum then it is i is cut and this kind of variables are known as uh, conjugate conjugate variables so x px Y, P, Y, Z, P, Z, etc. If say A is equal to X, then B equal to say P, Y then according to postulate 2 which is equal to 0 that means this is equal to 0 similarly it can be shown that the commutator of y px uh, x pz are zero.
similarly it can be shown that etc if we consider the commutator of two non conjugate of set of variables non conjugate sets hey take a component of the uh, position and take uh, a different component of the linear momentum known as non conjugate sets etc okay now we are ready now to discuss about the uh, uh heisenberg's uncertainty principle we consider two physical observables a and b Uh, we define deviation in a and b as this so it is the difference between the actual you know actual um, value of the observable it is a and the expected value or average value of a similarly deviation in b is b minus expected value of b or average value of b where these angular brackets for a and b are expected value or expected values of the observables a and b respectively Now we define the uncertainty we define the uncertainties in a and b by this delta a which is the root mean square root mean square deviation in a and delta b is root mean square deviation in b respectively
now we are ready to def to state the uncertainty principle the mathematical definition or mathematical statement not definition i'm sorry this is a statement of the uncertainty relation or uncertainty principle is the product of uncertainties in two observ these the product of the squares of uncertainties in two observables is greater than or equal to negative one fourth the square of the expected value of the commutator of the uh, two uh, operators corresponding to the two observables this where you see this commutator of a and b is this Now we'll give examples. Let A is the position X and P is the uh, X component of the uh, linear momentum which is x therefore delta x square to delta p x square is greater than or equal to minus one fourth and this is the commutator of x and px operators and this is square but we know the commutator of x and px is i h cut i remember h cut equal to h divided by twice pi which is the Planck's constant. So we have delta x, this is the uncertainty in x square delta p x square greater than equal to negative one fourth and this is i h cut. which is e cut square by 4 this one gives us the product delta x into delta px greater than or equal to e cut by 2 you see the, the un uncertainty relation between x and the corresponding component of the linear momentum Now, what, what is the meaning of this uncertainty? Okay, we, we will discuss this.
So the meaning of this uh, if we decrease the uncertainty in x that that means if we have a very small uncertainty then in x then we'll have to make delta px larger because the product of this is greater than h cut by 2 on the other hand if delta x is very large i am sorry delta px is very small then you have to make delta x large so that the product is a constant or greater than this constant so we cannot measure x and the corresponding component of linear momentum uh, accurately and simultaneously which means that The observables x and px cannot be measured accurately simultaneously. Okay, uh, second example if, okay, let us say a is equal to equal to x and b equal to p y we know Okay, the uncertainty relation between um, relation between x and p y is this. This is the commutator of x and p y. This, uh, but we know. commutator of x and py is 0 therefore the square of the product of the the product of the squares of the uncertainty in x and py so is 0 this that means product of the uncertainty is the uncertainties in x and py greater than or equal to zero now what is the meaning of this we can have both delta x and delta py zero and as the delta x is very small delta p y can also be make very small because the right hand side you know it is zero this means the observables x and p y can be measured accurately simultaneously okay similarly we could also say that the product of uncertainties in uh, y and the uns and um, um, uncertainty uncertainties in p x or p z is greater than or equal to zero Okay, this is for uh, today. 
and actually uh, we 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 have completed our chapter 2 and we would like to stop here